Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. So I hope you well Scorpio and let's get straight into your reading and pull your Angel Answer card. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, Spirits, Guides message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. 11th to the 17th of January 2021, please. Message for Scorpio. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. <laughs> don't stop. The message is don't stop. Whatever you're doing, don't give up. Don't stop. That's what you're being told. Love the energy. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides. 11th to the 17th of January. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. I'm so much getting the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, don't stop. You're, it's almost kind of like if you've been dealing with shadow or emerging from the shadow or negative energy, there is the light, you know? Lovely energy. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards, Scorpio. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. And the fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, as always. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Scorpios, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you for the week. What does Scorpio need to hear the most? Thank you. Thank you. That flew out. We have the Queen of Coins. Gemini Capricorn energy for me as a reader, male or female. Nine of Coins. Knight of Wands is advice from spirit. And the Page of Coins is your outcome. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Scorpio, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. What do we have for Scorpio, please? One more shuffle. Okay, I'll do one more shuffle. If it doesn't fall out, I will choose. So message for Scorpio, please. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, so I've got the Empress. No other card there, is there? No. So we have the Empress there with the Queen of Coins. So Nine of Coins, Scorpio, is clarified with... It's interesting. I've got the Knight of Swords but it's reversed. Knight of Wands is clarified with the Magician. And the Three of Wands is clarifying the Page of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have Judgment. Scorpio, there's a feeling here of, of the needing to provide. There is definitely this energy, this focus on terms of money, career, finances. I'm getting that energy a lot this week in a lot of the readings, the focus on money, career. I mean, I'm feeling it's kind of like New Year and people are focusing on that more, certainly to do with the pandemic. 
Um, and there is a feeling with this Queen of Coins of providing for you, your loved ones, your home. I mean, she can be a provider energy, male or female energy. But the Queen of Coins is somebody who understands intuitively how to bring growth and success into her life by focusing on the practical things that she needs to do in order to bring abundance her way. Um, she can be a working parent. She can be, um, again, a provider of something financial. Doing something practical, using your practical skills, resources, abilities to bring a level of success into your life. Now, either this is you or this is somebody who may be of influence in your life in manifesting something new. Because we have the Empress, which is all about manifesting the new. She is about embracing the new. She is the birth of something new. She can be in terms of, in money and career, she's very good because she's a sign of abundance. The beginnings of abundance coming your way. That could be in terms of job opportunities. That could be in terms of money. Um, she's a feeling of bountifulness, but there's a feeling here of... of wanting to have enough and certainly this this is a burnout energy you there's definitely this energy of burning yourself out nearly you're burning yourself out this is your challenge this is extremely hard work to the point where the focus is is outweighing everything else the focus on finances money career jobs understandably maybe because you're wanting to provide and manifest something new is is outweighing everything else in your life this is the focus this is what you're focused on and there's an there's an energy of, of near exhaustion here near burnout so she is an energy of time, using your time wisely. You know, she's not the fastest energy in the world. She's ruled by Saturn, which can be god of time. There's definitely this energy, Scorpio, of needing to use your time wisely. Balance your time and energy. Because this is somebody who will always be abundant, somebody who always will will win in the end in terms of money, career, finances, bringing abundance into her life because she understands how to stealthily focus, be patient, be practical and just keep going at her own pace until she actually achieves the goal. And there's an energy here, definitely with your money, career, finances, there's burnout. These are burnout energies in the challenge position. And it's to do this, to get to this, the nine of pentacles, which is self-sufficiency, having enough um, success in terms of money, career, finances. I mean, that could be in your own business. That could also be in terms of working for somebody else or the need to get a job or something where you feel the abundance. You know, it's that kind of energy. And the Empress appearing in your reading is very good because she's about abundance. Now, there could be a female and I'm saying this because we have a lot of female energies here at the beginning. There could be a female in your, in your life who is of influence this week, you know, in terms of bringing this new opportunity to you. Or this manifesting this new path to you. Because what you're wanting to manifest is the opportunity. The opportunity that brings change. And not only that, that Knight of Wands, I mean, the Knight of Wands represents the opportunity. And it's definitely coming your way. That's what Spirit is saying. The opportunity, you will manifest this opportunity. There will be change. Um, so there's definitely this energy of you are the magician using your talent resources, know-how, expertise, skills, experience, mental acuity, and applying it all with blessings from the universe to manifest change in the form of maybe some kind of offer, opportunity coming into your life, or progress, you know, making progress, good progress, good success in a situation. Um, so Spirit is saying that's definitely happening, but the Knight of Wands is an interesting one because the Knight of Wands is somebody who also can leave a difficult situation behind and you're just like, oh, thank goodness that's over, you know? So 
there's definitely this energy of you have the power to manifest something now. Spirit is saying you have the magic. You know, you have the resources to change something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. But there is a level of burnout here and you're being told there is something to do with pace yourself. Just pace yourself. Because I'm feeling for some of you something's nearly over and that's what I'm seeing here. It's nearly over, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And again, that judgment card is about stepping into your light. Sometimes it can be about decisions, choices. But I'm not seeing that here. It feels like this is where you're going to step into your light. And it feels like something is coming to a close. A difficult period of your life is finally coming to a close. Because what you've been taking action towards, what you've been nearly burning yourself out on, and it is a burnout energy, is something good is coming your way. There's a level of, of waiting a little bit. But your ships are coming in. Um, and that's what the, this energy is saying. Something is near a close. And you can see the first signs of success. And that, I feel for some of you, is in the form of career, financial opportunity, abundance. Now, it might also be for some of you, if you've started a new business, you might have learned a new skill set. Or there may be some secondary income. A secondary skill that you've been learning here, page of coins can be about learning, skills development, qualifications, that kind of thing. So again, in this energy, Scorpio, there is something good coming your way. It's coming, it's coming. And it's going to come in the form of an opportunity that you've been manifesting. So don't worry, the message is don't stop. Because you will absolutely step into your light. It's nearly over. So I love the energy for that reason. And that I definitely feel is the message that some of you need to hear. So keep going. But pace yourself, Scorpio, you know, pace yourself. You know, this is very difficult energy. You know, it's it can dominate you above everything else to the point where you don't get perspective in a situation with this energy. So this is about just slow, steady, patient, but nevertheless, clear signs of abundance and it's in your presence so it's coming your way quite it definitely feels in this energy quite imminently okay final message for our lovely scorpios thank you yeah <laughs> i don't think you need motivation really from what i can see in the cards but nevertheless for those of you that need to hear it i mean this is definitely an energy i, I kind of feel that you're going to keep going anyway but you're being kind of like given that pep talk by the universe because it feels so close. It feels so close. The light feels quite imminent. So we have when spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you enjoyed the reading, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.